Okay, in this example, we've got a right triangle with side lengths 3, square to 7, and then a hypotenuse with length 4. We're going to find the sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent of that angle theta. So I've jotted down the definitions quickly here, um, so you can take a look at them. And again, notice my triangle, the theta is in a, uh, a different corner, so be careful about that when you read off the angles, or the side lengths from the angle. And again, sine of theta is defined to be the, the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Tangent is the opposite over adjacent, um, etc. There's the other one. So really to compute these, it's just a matter, it's just a matter of knowing those definitions. And maybe you have to rationalize a denominator at some point. So sine of theta, okay, that's the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Again, the length of the opposite side. Well, in this case, the opposite side, it's, it's the side furthest away from our angle theta. The opposite side is going to be the square root of 7. And then we divide that by the length of the hypotenuse, which in this case will be positive 4. Cosine of theta... Well, that's the adjacent side. In this case, 3 is going to be the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, again, which is 4. And tangent of theta, that's the opposite side, square root of 7, over the adjacent side, which is 3. Now, we could go through here, cosecant, secant, cotangent. You know, you could read everything off. Notice that cosecant, you just take the value you got for sine, and you just take the reciprocal, just flip the fraction over. So the same thing with cosine and secant, and tangent and cotangent. So let's see. So cosecant of theta, that's going to be 4 divided by the square root of 7. Here we're going to rationalize the denominator, so multiply top and bottom by the square root of 7. That'll leave you with 4 times the square root of 7 in the numerator. The square root of 7 times the square root of 7 is just 7. The fraction 4 over 7 doesn't reduce, so that'll be uh, our solution. Then we have secant of theta. Same thing, I'm just going to flip the fraction. That'll be 4 thirds. Okay, so we don't have to rationalize anything there. It's already rationalized. And also cotangent. That'll be 3 divided by the square root of 7. And you can multiply top and bottom by the square root of 7. That'll give us 3 root 7 over 7. And now we've got all our solutions. Again, you can also, of course, you can think about cosecant, secant, and cotangent in terms of ratios of, of side lengths of the triangle. But to me, it's much easier just if I can remember cosecant goes with sine, uh, secant goes with cosine, and cotangent goes with tangent. It, to me, it's easier just to... Take the flip of the fraction and simplify it or rationalize the denominator if I need to.